All right, we're ready for our next case. Please introduce yourself, state your name, and DOC number for the record. Uh, William 53, 58, 63, 21. I'll be right, Todd. Come here, you, sir. Let me get your paperwork just a second. My name is Brennan Kelsey Long. Me, Ms. Renata, and Ms. Jackson will be your pro, will be your panel today. I'll read some uh, rule violations. You'll plead guilty, not guilty, guilty with a statement, or not guilty with a statement. We'll ask some questions. You can respond at the end. You can make a statement, take a vote. You know, process. Yes, sir. Todd William, DOC number five yes, eight six one. Uh, can you read and write? Yes, sir. And is there a pro revocation question there in front of you? Yes, sir. That's your signature. Yes, sir. Okay. Todd Williams, DOC number five eight six three two one. Rule number four, you were involved in criminal activity on or about 310, 22, by committing offenses of domestic abuse battery against aggravated assault, domestic abuse battery, resisting an officer, stalking and crowding. On 9 one 2022 you pled guilty to admitted charges of domestic abuse battery in the 15th JDC in Acadiana Parish. You were sentenced to serve six months in jail. All of the charges were dismissed. How do you plead? I have pleaded guilty, though. Okay. So number 10. You are in arrears $126 as of for the supervision fees of 318-2022. How do you plead? Plead uh, guilty. All right. All right, tell me what happened. What's going on? What, 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 I mean, what, what's the deal with the domestic battery? When I, when I had come, I come home and stuff, and me and my wife, we had an argument about me buying her some weed, and I told her I wasn't doing it. I just come home. I'm not even about to do all that, and she just... She get mad and she like, well, you on parole. I know what I can do. I'm gonna just call the police. And I'm like, what you gonna do that for? She like, she gonna just do it. She called and they came. They arrested both of us. And I was on parole. That's the reason why I couldn't buy it out. I was on parole. They arrested both of us on the charge. Well, so what happened? No physical abuse. No, no, no fighting, no. pushing. Nothing. No, sir. That's why they threw everything out. That's why they threw everything out. It was just a verbal. We just was fussing. It was supposed to be disturbing the peace. But I copped out because I thought I was going to be able to make it home for, for in October. It, nobody got touched. How long, you been, how long you been down on that? I, I, I've been down 11 months right now. I've been finished with the time on the charge and everything. Well, tell me, well, what, what's your relationship with your wife now? I mean, you still your wife and uh, I mean, what's going to happen when you get back out? Yes, sir. Uh, I just talked to her for uh, Valentine's Day. I we, we we talked it over and everything. She said that um, that I could come back over there, but I'm not even going back over there. I'm gonna go to Appaloosa to my house and and just be by myself. Well, I mean, she's still your wife. You got kids together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I need to go. I need to focus on myself when I go out there, so I can go working. Get myself together, and then we can get back together. That's how it turned out. So, were you using drugs when you got back out there? No, sir. Uh, all my drug screens was clear. Everything was good. I, I reported. I ain't have no problems, but just that charge right there. Whenever the parole officer seen me, she said I was the first person. I was home like on the full. Like a month, and I had um, uh, I had got a job and everything. You know, I was doing good for myself. You still have a job out there? Yes, sir. If you go to Opelousas, you gonna be able to get to that job? Yes, sir. I have a 2016 Seattle truck. I had How far is that job? Huh, sir? How far is that job? It's only like 25 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, So you say you have some children with her? Yes, sir. How many? One. You support that child? Yes, sir. So what's going on? I mean, my concern is you get back out, you get back in that relationship. Sound like y'all having some issues. Have y'all had fights before this? No, sir, that was our first time ever having a fight. It wasn't even a fight. We just was arguing about 
about doing that and I told her I wasn't doing that. I'm not, they, they doing all kind of stuff with them drugs. I'm not about to buy nobody no drugs because I ain't even using them. That's all it was. We just fussed it. It wasn't even her call the police. It was the neighbors call to say that we was arguing. That's why I say I don't know why they charged me with all those other ch child endangerment. Nobody was even there. It was just us two in the house. That's why they dismissed everything. Where you work at? What job? What's the name of the job? John Peck. What? John John LePet. No. What do you do there? I, uh, I do the sewing of bags, and then whenever I go, when I leave from there, I go work with my uncle and sandblast, and I paint at his, uh, at his shop. I'm a certified painter and a uh, sandblaster. And you got your own house. We'll say it's your own house. Yes, sir. In Appaloosa, Louisiana, 1023 West South Street. Not I have no further questions. No questions. Does anybody else live at that house on West South Street? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I, I can't hear. Who lives there? My mother. My mother, uh, she lived over there, but my dad just died and he left me the house. But since I've been in jail, I've been letting her live over there, but I got my own room and stuff. Where does the wife live? She lives in Crowley. Crowley. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. What's the address of Opelousas? 1023 West South Street. Uh, uh, you'd like to make a statement on your behalf? Sir? You'd like to make a statement on your behalf? No, sir. All right, I'll vote first. I'm going to vote to do not revoke you. I think you spent uh, appropriate time in jail already on this charge. Uh, I am concerned about your relationship with your wife. You need to figure that out. And, and drugs is not going to never be a part of it. It's going to not going to be helpful to you. I want you to go back to your Opelousas residence, continue to work. Uh, and I want you to attend the domestic violence prevention class. It's a 26 week class. You got to go on outside and, 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 uh, and, and attend it, okay? Yes, sir. Yep. They'll set up a 26 week DBOP class. So I'm going to vote do not revoke, continue supervision, 26 week DBOP, and go, you go live in Opelousa. Ms. Renata? My vote is the same. Do not revoke for the same reason. This. I'm going to take a chance on you. Do not revoke. Uh, complete the domestic violence program. And I would add a condition that you have no contact with your wife until you have completed all 26 weeks of the DBOP program. You understand that? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you all very much. And we also have Miss Rebecca Jackson, uh, just for the record. Oh, no, I'm sorry. She's for the next one. Apologize. Oh, never mind. All right. Thank you. Three votes. Do not revoke you. Probably, uh, good luck to you. All right. Thank you all very much.